Welcome. This lesson is over how to divide fractions. So let's look at our number routine of how do you know. Represent the product in drawing and arithmetic half of one half. So let me write that down again to remind myself half of one and a half. So imagine you have one and a half cookies or pies or a fraction circle. Highlighter. What's half of one and a half? So half, and this is half. This is one way I could do it. So I see one half is shaded plus one fourth is shaded. Or I could split this into fourths. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth is three fourth. One half plus one fourth equals three fourth. I rename one half as two fourth plus one fourth is three fourth. Another way to do it, it's Half is 50 hundreds plus 25 hundred, which is one fourth, is 75 hundred, which is three fourth. That's one way I could do it. I could use drawing method. However, some of us may know that half of mean multiplication. We are multiplying fraction. Half, one half is a fraction. How would you rewrite one and a half in fraction form? Again, you do this way. You multiply the denominator and numerator as 2 plus 1 more is 3 halves. So you get 3 fourth. 3 fourth. And that's another way to do it. So that's a reminder how to multiply fractions. So, let's do. so today, you are going to be watching a presentation on about how to uh, divide fractions. So let me click on this. Whoops. So this is a website. Uh, the website, yeah. And so you click on next. And I'm just going to. He will cut three fifth meter long pieces. So a carpenter will cut a two meter long piece of wood from which he will cut three fifth meter long pieces. To find out how many 3 fifth meter long pieces can be cut from a 2 meter piece of wood, it helps to know how to divide with fractions. Division can be thought of as finding how many times the second number fits into the first number. So how many 2's go into 6? We can model three. 6 divided by 2 by finding how many strips of length 2 are in a strip of length 6. Since three strips of two equal a strip of length six, six divided by two equals three. And you can see how many groups of twos go into six three times. Dividing with fractions works the same way. To divide one by one third, see how many bars of length one third fit in a bar of length one. And let's see, I'm going to drag this. How many, let's make a prediction. How many groups of one third fit into one whole? Hopefully you said three. One group, two group, three group. One third plus one third plus one third is three thirds or one whole. Three bars of length one third fit into a bar of length one. So one divided by one third is three. We can write the number three as the fraction three over one. You will soon see why we are doing this. Here is another example. To divide 1 by 3 quarters, see how many bars of length 3 quarters fit in a bar of length 1. Do you think it's going to be a whole bar, two whole bars, a fractional bar? Let's see. I drag one group of 3 fourths. Ooh, it doesn't go all the way, so it looks like only one third of this. A bar of length 3 quarters fits into a bar of length 1, one full time with some amount left over. The amount left over is equal to one-third of the three-quarters bar. The mixed number one and one-third can be rewritten as the improper fraction four over three. So, it's one and one-third, or four-third bars, go into, uh, into one whole. You can see right here, 
This is one third plus one third plus one third plus one third four thirds. Here is a last example. To divide one by four thirds, see how many bars of length four thirds fit in a bar of length one. If you think about it, I, I think it's going to be a less than one whole. Four thirds fits into one less than a full time. Only three quarters of a bar of length four thirds fits into a bar of length one. So one divided by four thirds is three quarters. All right, let's stop right here. Do you notice any patterns as we're dividing? So right here, one divided by one third is three over one. 1 divided by 3 fourths is 4 over 3. 1 divided by 4 3 equals 3 over 4. Hmm. Notice that the number of times a fraction fits into 1 is the reciprocal of that fraction. A reciprocal results from switching the numerator and denominator. And reciprocal is like the flipping of a fraction. Flipping the numerator with the denominator. If the number of times a fraction fits into 1 is the reciprocal of that fraction, what do you think is 1 divided by 4 fifths? What do you think the reciprocal of 4 fifths is? They said reciprocal is the flipping of the numerator with the denominator. Hopefully you'll say 5 fourths. To find the reciprocal of 4 fifths, just switch the numerator and denominator. So 1 divided by 4 fifths equals 5 over 4. We can use fraction bars to confirm that the number of times 4 fifths fits into 1 equals the improper fraction 5 over 4, or the mixed number 1 and 1 quarter. 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, 5 fifth. Oh, sorry, sorry. These are fourths. 1 fourth, 2 fourth, 3 fourth, 4 fourth, and 5 fourths. You now know that 1 divided by any fraction is the reciprocal of that fraction. Next, you will see how to divide numbers other than 1. So reciprocal is the, as you can see, A over B flipped to B over A. Recall from earlier that three bars of length 1 third fit into a bar of length 1. So 1 divided by 1 third is 3 over 1. So they did a reciprocal. Now see how many bars of length one-third fit into a bar of length two. So how many one groups of one-third do you think fit into two whole? If one whole, right here, if one whole has divided into third is three over one, what do you think this is going to be? How many, three, so let's see, one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, and six groups. Since three bars of length one-third fit into a bar of length one, Two times that amount fits into a bar of length two. So they did the reciprocal of one third to three one and they multiply it by two and got six one. Notice that dividing the fractions is the same as inverting the second fraction and turning the division into multiplication. So dividing fraction is really multiplying by the reciprocal. So you turn a division into a multiplication, and you do the reciprocal of 1 third to 3 over 1. If fractions can be divided by inverting the second number and changing the division to multiplication, what do you think is 1 quarter divided by 1 third? Any prediction. So we multiply by its reciprocal. What's the reciprocal? What's the reciprocal of 1 third? Hopefully you'll say 3 to one. divide the fractions, Invert the second fraction and turn the division into multiplication. And three-fourths. We can use fraction bars to confirm the invert and multiply result. Three-quarters of a bar of length one-third fits into a bar of length one-quarter. So how many one-thirds go into one-fourth? You can see here, it goes in way more. So, so we find a fractional part three-fourths is go into one-fourth. So to divide any two fractions, just invert the second fraction and multiply. Now back to our problem of finding how many three-fifths meter long pieces of wood a carpenter can cut from a two-meter long piece. To find the number of pieces, 
divide 2 by 3 fifths. After inverting and multiplying the second fraction, the number of pieces is 10 thirds, or 3 and 1 third. And so now we're going to use our manipulatives to help us, our online fraction bar. So build manually. So our first problem, let's look at our slideshow. Close this out. Our first slideshow is one half divided by one fourth. So one half divided. How many groups of one fourth do you think go into one half? One, one group, two groups. How did, oh, they have it right here. Four over two is improper, is the same thing as two groups. I wonder how they got that. Next question. How, one third divided by one six. So here's one third, one six. How many groups of one six do you think go into one third? One group. 2 group. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 groups. How did they get that? Do you remember what the video said? You multiply by its reciprocal. Let's look at a third example. 3 halves divided by 3 eighths. So 3 halves divided by 3 8. How many groups of 3 8 do goes into 3 halves, which is more than one whole? One group, two group, three group, four groups. How did we get four groups from this? 24 over 6, or divide by 6, is the same as saying four whole. Where are we getting these from? Where does the 24 come from, and where does the 6 come from? Now, it is time to expand the form. If you have not figured out by now, you are multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is our next example. 2 third divided by 1 six. 2 third divided by 1 six. How many 1 six go into 2 third? 1 whole, 2 holes, 3 holes, 4 groups. How can I get that without using fraction model. So I start with two-thirds. From what I can tell, they multiply by the reciprocal. They invert and multiply or multiply by the reciprocal. They so they do the reciprocal of six ones. So multiply two times six is twelve. Three times one is three. Twelve divided by three is four. And did we get four groups of one six that go into two-thirds? Yes, we did. And to check your right, here are thirds, and there's 12 thirds. The next one, 5 thirds divided by 5 six. 5 thirds divided by 5 six. How many groups of 5 six do you believe fit into 5 thirds? Let's see, one group, two group. And it is correct, 30 divided by 15 is two groups. So again, they left the 5 thirds, they multiply this, and what's the reciprocal of 5, 6, 6, 5, and that's where they get 30 fifteenths. These are divided into fifteenths, and there's 30 of them. Next one. 3 fourth divided by 1 half. I'm going to cover this up. Can you make a prediction? How many halves go into three fourths? One group, two group, one group, ooh, and a half. If we expand it, so how can you get six fourths, which is the same thing as three halves or one and a half? How can I, where did the six come from and the four come from? You multiply by its reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal one half? Two one. So you multiply across six four, which is three halves or one and one half. Now it's time to do questions without using fraction. Again, you may use it if you need to. 
A baker has half a pound of sugar left. He needs one eighth of a pound for each batch of cookie he makes. How many batches of cookie can he make with one half pound of sugar? So here is a visual for those who are visual. Here's a measuring cup. Here's half a cup of sugar. He needs one eighth. So that means this is one eighth. So he needs that to make a batch of cookie. This is another eighth. He needs that to make a batch of cookie. So are we dividing or splitting this bag of sugar? So it's, this is division. You start with a half a bag. You're dividing it into eighths. How can I solve this? According to the video, you multiply by the reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 1 8? 8 1. And if you multiply across, you get 8 halves or 4. And that is true. How many 1 8, how many 8s go into 1 half 4 groups? And that's where it came from. <laughs> if you do not believe me, let's look at using our fraction bar. Oh, bless me. Was it? Wait. One, wait, 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 one, I can't remember what it was. Wait, one half, oh yeah, one half divided by one eighth. So one, so one group, two groups, three groups, and four, and it's true. One half times the reciprocal, one eight, eight, one, eight halves, or four. Next one. A class is painting a mural for Earth Day. The teacher has eight tenth gallons of green paint. That's what the teacher is starting with. Each student needs one fifth gallon to paint a part of the mural. How many students can paint? So you have all this paint right here. This student took one fifth of it. This student took one fifth of it. So we're dividing it into smaller groups. So eight tenth. How can I turn this into an equivalent multiplication expression? I start start with eight tenth. You're multiplying. What's the reciprocal of one fifth? Five one. If you multiply across, is forty tenths or four? And if you don't trust me, we could look at the manipulatives. Eight ten. Divided by. My gosh. Divided by. Divided by one fifth. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups. Is that the same answer that we get? Four groups, yes it is. You have half of a pizza and you want to share it equally between two people. So you have half of a pizza. You want to share it equally among two people. Each person, I can tell, will get one fourth. But how can I do it using a turning this, rewriting this division problem as an equivalent multiplication expression? You multiply, what's the reciprocal of two, one-halves? One-half times one-half is one-fourth. A baker is making cakes for a big party. She uses one-fourth cup of oil for each cake. How many cakes can she make if she has a bottle of oil that has six cups in it? So what did she, how much oil did she start with? With six cups. Now she's going to split the six cup into smaller batches of one-fourth to make each cake. So how many cakes can you make? So we keep this. We write as a fraction. Multiply. What's the reciprocal of 1, 4? Four? 4, 1. You get 24. So you can make 24 groups of 1, 4 to make cakes, 6 cups of oil. The baker's, the serving size for a granola that Ted likes to eat for breakfast is 3, 4 cup. So this is a serving size. How many cup servings are there in the box that holds 6 cups? So we're starting with 6 cups. We're splitting or dividing it into smaller portions for uh, Ted. So we multiply. The reciprocal is 4 thirds. So we get 24 thirds or 8. So he can have 8 servings. So how do we multiply? How do we multiply decimals? Number one, you keep the f you keep Number one, you keep the first number. Number two, you change the division to multiplication. 
Number three, you find the reciprocal of the second number. And number four, you multiply. And step five, simplify if needed. So, for example, let's look at our example. Or let's look at our online manipulative, if you really don't trust me on this one. So, for example, they kept 8, 10. They turned a the division into a multiplication expression. Then they did a reciprocal of the second number to 5, 1, and they multiply. And how many groups of 40? How many groups of 1 fifth going to 8, 10? Four groups, and you see four groups because 40 divided by 10 is 4. Thank you.